At present, Sauro's age is three years more than the square of his son, Ravi's age. When Ravi grows to his father's present age, Sauro's age would be six years less than thirteen times the present age of Ravi. So this question is slightly twisted. So here, first I'll consider let the Ravi's age be let the Ravi's age be x years old. X years. So Ravi is nothing but here son, and Saurav's age will be. Saurav's age will be. See Saurav's age is three years more than the square of his son. So square of his son plus three. This is the present age of Saurav, his like father. When Ravi grows to his father, here is slightly twisted. So suppose this is uh, like ten. Just imagine ten, and father's age is forty. So what they want to tell with the help of this sentence, when Ravi grows to his father's present age, means when Ravi will become like age will become like forty. So Ravi, see here the difference is how much thirty. So Ravi's age will become ten plus thirty because the difference is here thirty. So what I'll do, I'll find the difference. When Ravi grows to his father's present age, so so after uh, x square plus three minus x years. X square plus three minus x years because suppose. This is ten. This is forty. When Ravi will grow, go, grow to his father's age, it means thirty years later. So thirty, how I am getting up by subtracting this forty minus ten. But this is I took example ten and forty. So if we subtract x square plus three minus x, so after this many years, Saurav's age will be father's age will be x square plus three. This is present age plus. X square plus three minus x. So father's age will be two x square minus x plus six. So Saurav's age would be six years. This one. Now given condition is. Given condition is, Saurav's age after the increase of x square plus three minus x. So x two x square minus x plus six. Saurav's age will be. Six years less than thirteen times the present age of Ravi. Present age of Ravi is x. Thirteen times present minus six. So this is a given equation. So if we we'll simplify, Saurav's age would be six years less than thirteen times the present age. Fine. Now two x square minus x plus six minus thirteen x plus six equals zero. So, if I simplify this further, two x square minus fourteen x plus twelve equals zero. So, two if I take common, x square minus seven x plus six equals zero. Now, two if I transpose x square minus seven x plus six equals zero by two, which is nothing but zero. So, now here, if I factorize six one six minus six x. Minus one x plus six equals zero. X if we take common, x minus six minus one if we take common, x minus six. So x minus six and x minus one. X minus six and x minus one equals zero. Uh, now here see x minus six equals zero. And x minus one equals zero, so x minus six equals zero, x minus one equals zero, so x equals six, and x equals one. Ravi's age is, it cannot be one because if we take one as Ravi's age, one square plus one three four, father's age is not possible. So Ravi's age. Is six years 
and father's age sorrow's age you can take it as like sorrow's age is x square plus 3 so 6 square plus 3 that is nothing but 30 6 plus 3 39 so sorrow's age is 39 now see ravi's age is 6 and saurav's age is 39 see the gap is very clear it's after 33 years so after if you'll subtract 39 minus 6 33 so after 33 years saurav's age will be 39 plus 33 so it will be 72 so what they told is 39 plus 33 will be equal to 13 times present age of ravi which is 6 minus 6 so it is 72 13 times 6 60 78 minus 6 72 so so therefore the ravi's present age is 6 and saurav's present age is 39 39 years